So this video is in inspired from Kelsey Brianna J. She did start this ranking your palette series. I trust her opinion and I do love all her videos on everything that she does and she's just an amazing YouTuber. I'm going to leave her link to her YouTube channel down below so you can guys can check her out but I'm pretty sure if you're here you know who she is so yes um yeah so I just wanted to give credit because obviously I wasn't the creator of this but anyways I did just want to give credit to Kelsey Brianna J because she is the creator of the ranking series here on YouTube hey guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be ranking all of my Anastasia palettes I used to be like a like a collectors for Anastasia whenever she would release a palette I would just like purchase it on launch date but recently I just realized like they just been releasing too much and I kind of been feeling like kind of like uninspired by their eyeshadow palettes so I'm not gonna be buying them anymore like not unless I'm really interested in it because I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and kind of like the newer ones just haven't been my faves so Yes, and today I did actually film another video and I used the Prism palette alongside with the Mel Cosmetics Vita palette. Well, I've purchased all of them, so there's 11 in total and actually the number 11, I don't have it anymore. And that palette, it's nothing with quality. Like, I feel like the quality in that palette is actually really, really good and that's actually one of the staple palettes for a lot of people but for me just the color story it was never really something that attracted to me it was just kind of like boring in a sense to me and that is the modern renaissance palette i actually just decluttered that one in my last declutter video well the most recent i never had a color video besides well but anyways i did declutter that one and it was just solely because of colors and i just never touched that palette like i just bought it because of the hype around the brand and the palette but it was never something that like i even ever really touched so that's why it's number 11 and for number 10 it is one of her more recent palettes and it's the carly bible palette i think this is a gorgeous palette the colors in here are pretty but it's just not like i don't know the shimmers in here are beautiful but the mattes in here are just kind of like lackluster they're just really light and there's not really anything that you can like deepen your look with they're all just pretty light tones and even like this red and this peach they kind of like turn into nothing on your eyes and it's just not not my favorite so that's why it is number 10 and this is actually one that i am going to be decluttering because i just don't don't like it i just don't for number nine this palette is not because of quality because i do really like the quality of this one but it's just like there's a palette very similar to this one that i just prefer a lot more and that is the riviera palette riviera is number nine solely because oh my god i'm gonna drop it solely because i do love the shimmers and the mattes in this palette i think this is a great eyeshadow palette for somebody that wants to get into color but the next palette is just better than this one in my opinion on a color story and everything and i just feel like i get more from the next palette than this one so that is why this one is number nine and i feel like i don't need this palette anymore because i have the next palette so i think i'm going to be giving this one to my best friend because I'm pretty sure she would enjoy it a lot more than me. So the number eight palette is the Alyssa Edwards palette. And I love this one. It's definitely more of a rainbow palette. As you can see, you have your blue and your purple. And kind of like the same tones as in the Riviera. This one is just not heavily shimmer based. There's only three shimmers in here. While in the Riviera, there's like a whole row of shimmers. But the mattes in here are just great like you can make any look in like with this palette i'm really happy with this one and i didn't rank it any higher because it is a rainbow palette and i'm not out here using rainbow palettes like every day i don't know about you guys but that's just not me 
So for number seven, it is my subculture palette. I know this palette, like, it's not everyone's favorite. Everybody that has this palette or had this palette has had difficulties with it. It is super pigmented and it does take a longer time to work with the palette. But the quality isn't bad. This shade right here, this is electric. Did get hard pan. It was a shimmer. And that's the downfall with these palettes. Like the mattes will probably be good forever. But the shimmers, they tend to get like dry and they just aren't great after a certain amount of time and i've had this palette since it like not when it launched i didn't buy this palette when it launched i think i think this came out in fall and then i got it whatever summer at macy's but i do really like this palette so yeah that's why it is number seven so for number six it is my prison palette that is what i'm using on my eyes right now i really do love this palette this was like my favorite palette before like all the ones that are currently in front of me came out this was definitely it i love this one this one is so so good i just really love this palette it's definitely like top of the top so the next palette is probably one of their newer palettes and that is the M Breezy palette I actually put um clear nail polish on this so like glitter won't go everywhere on me and the reason why this is number five is because the colors in here are beautiful it did have glitters which wasn't my thing I feel like this is a good neutral palette but it also has like your pops of color like for your lid I feel like this is a replacement kind of for its modern renaissance because you do have this Simsa whatever shit whatever this is called right here this shade which is similar to the I think it's called love letters in the modern renaissance one you do have that brown you do have a, like a good nude these two are pretty similar which is a downside on this palette I feel like they just kind of like wasted space like they added two more shades which were glitters when they shouldn't have done that in the first place it should have just been a 14 pan and then you would have switched one of these for another matte and it would have been ranked higher for me because it is a beautiful beautiful palette but it's just not like the top because the other palettes definitely do beat this one so the number four is the soft glam because this one is like probably the best neutral palette like warm tone neutral palette that they've launched i feel like everything that they've made is like always a neutral palette but it's not as good as this one. Oh my god i'm gonna shop there this one is really good like it's really it's definitely like a soft glam like you can get such elegant like soft looks with this it is a basic palette i know that but it's a good basic palette so that's why it is number four number three is the norvina palette i love this one this is probably like my favorite like fall like grungy palette it is super beautiful it does have like the more mauvey purpley tones which i do really love i just love this palette like i don't know what else to say i can use this palette to give me neutral looks i can use this palette to give me fun looks i can just love this palette so yeah i'm that's why it's number three. So number two. Number two is the Jackie Ina palette. I feel like Jackie Ina slayed with this palette. Like I I don't know. Like she just did. Like she knew exactly what she was doing. This Wiggly's shade is amazing. Sponsored, amazing. Zuala's amazing. Everything in here is just amazing. Like why hasn't jackie collaborated before like we needed more of these and the number one palette is the sultry palette i same thing with this palette i did clear coat it whatever i love this palette this is like an awakening to me because i used to be like such a warm tone lover and now i'm like ooh, give me some cool tones like now i'm just like all over the world where i 
I love all colors around and this is the best like cool tone neutral palette I have and it's definitely in the name like every look that you do with this it's gonna be super sultry it's gonna be like just fancy elegant like insane like you know I just really 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 love this one and yeah that was all for this video thank you for watching and see you next time